Hello there. After a slightly unnerving experience I had with my car last week, luckily it was in a safe place. My main fuse went on the car and it literally just died on me. No power, no electric, so I couldn't use hazard lights or anything like that. Luckily I was in a dead end road. Very, very easy just to push the car back towards the curb, call the AA out, which they sorted. And then the problem itself was sorted the next day in the garage properly. I did wonder, or I did worry rather, that if that had happened at night on an unlit road or somewhere on a busy road, consequences could have been much more serious so I decided that in the event of maybe it happening on a quiet road at night in the dark I thought I'd better buy myself a warning light similar to what they do and uh, what they have on tractors like a slow moving vehicle or something similar I went on to Amazon I was looking for something of this nature which is an LED flashing beacon and it's the sort of thing that you would find on an emergency vehicle or on a tractor or a slow moving vehicle such as a roadworks vehicle or something so i went on there and found this i think it was 34 pound 48 uh, including postage it actually came the next day which surprised me because i didn't pay extra for that so it came very very quickly it's rechargeable so it doesn't have to be plugged into the cigarette lighter to work which makes sense really because had there been no power it wouldn't have worked anyway this is the unit here it's got magnetic base there it comes with a cigarette lighter recharger so as you can charge it in the car when obviously when you don't need it but also here where that cigarette lighter plugs in there's also a mini usb socket so you can plug it into a usb charger or into your pc and it will charge from there too it's got a little air uh, solar panel on the top which also helps its charge. It's supposedly um, able to run for 10 hours, I believe, on a full charge. I have had it on charge for about six hours and there's a little red light inside which flashes while it's in charge mode and the red light goes steady amber, steady solid light when it's fully charged and you can unplug it. Um, I'm going to run it um, to make sure I know how long it's going to run for and recharge it. I do know that rechargeable batteries do take a few cycles to get them to full capacity. It's got four settings. I'm not going to stare at it while I'm doing it because it is quite bright. The first setting gives you a flash of about six flashes and then a pause of about a second. The second flash gives you like a rotating like you would expect a normal light like this to do, which is the one I will be using if I ever need to. Hopefully I won't. The next one is again another series of very, very flashy, uh, quick flashes in a gap. And then the, the last one is a completely solid uh, light continuous. And that's it really. So like I say, I keep it in the car when I'm using it now. If I do break down, even in the daytime, you might need it. I've got a, I've got a warning triangle in the car anyway. So just in case I should need it. But if this starts getting dark, this will be the first thing I'll put onto the car. So um, a really, really useful item should I need it. Hopefully I won't. But um, so it's an LED high power beacon. And it says on the box, flashing, flashing light sign to other vehicles in case of emergency. Bet £35 from Amazon. Great little buy. So uh, thank you very much for watching. I hope you never ever need it yourself, but it's a good idea to have one. So again, thank you for watching and uh, I might catch you in a video again sometime in the future. Bye.